Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Fuket, and today we are playing Scribble. And the developer did notify in the notepad saying that there is some copyright music on here. I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, if you know that there's going to be copyright in a game, then most people are most likely not going to be playing this game. But I'm going to play it, but I'm going to possibly be muting this gameplay if there's going to be some music involved here. So let's get started. That's all right. 9.55 p.m. Saturday. Steve just bought a new house in town called Townsville. Great to bring up Powerpuff Girls there. His wife is really, oh, uh, damn it. But he never know when. His dream is to make a bigger family. He always dreamt of that. A world full of hatred and treason. Alright. Here we go. This game may have bug due to spring physics to first person controller. Also, if you grab something and your mouse is glitching, try to... Oh, sprint. It says print on here. And bug may gone. Some of the dots can't be picked up. I didn't even get to read any of the controls. So I'm just going to assume it's slender. I just noticed I make that sound every time when I make a gameplay. And I've been doing that so many times without even noticing. Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing in this game? Well, at least my mouse is in the cursor. You guys are doing one thing, right? Um, alright. What am I supposed to be doing? Well, all the doors... Okay, that was my fault. <laughs> um, fridge won't open. Nothing will open, so I guess I'm going to be looking for a key, I guess. Maybe it's in here. Is there a key? What the hell am I supposed to be doing then if I can't fucking do shit? Oh, there's an upstairs. Can I turn on the lights? Okay. I mean, if this was my house, I'd actually put lights right there. But I guess that's your design of the house. It's so dark. I. Wait. I don't know what has happened. Did I go to sleep? Find a flashlight before you go out. Um. Well, that was seriously obvious. Let's take a bath. I'm floating. And there's just a toilet in here without a sink. Or maybe the sink is. Nope. I was expecting the sink to be right here. I don't know why they're like making this look like this freaking bathrooms and restaurants. What the hell just happened? I'm like glitching to like a different teleportation room. Is there any monsters? Where's the Scrabble monster? I think that's the developer of Slenderman. Sounds like from here the door's locked. What? A key should be here somewhere. Maybe the basement. I should go there and also fix the power while I'm at it. Huh. And, uh, I didn't know the basement was, uh, gonna be a little bit spooky. I mean, it's gonna be obvious that I'm gonna go down here and get some scares. See? Um, hey, little boy, um, how are you gonna do today? Um, let's go find that power box or whatever. You know, now that I noticed, I think I played this before. I didn't notice that. I mean, after going inside this basement, I feel familiar about this. I couldn't complete the game because I didn't know what to do. Okay, let me read this. 
Hey, Sierra. Did I say Sierra? Sarah. Thank you for taking care of my son. I really appreciate your help. Starting from today, you will take care of him every morning because every day I go to work, I cannot bring my son there, right? Anyway, thanks. Well, I think I let your son die here. Hey, Jane, could you please take your son back faster because he's really naughty. I can't do it. I just... I just got back from the hospital, you know that, right? So, did I, like, become mentally disabled and, like, destroyed him? Abused the fuck out of him? That's what it sounds like. Since it says I just got from the hospital. That has to be some sort of disorder. But you never know. Um, okay. Is that all I need to do? Why are all these freaking... Barrels blocking my way. Maybe there's a note in here too. Yep. Sarah, please, just three more days and I will be back. I will take it back, okay? Because it's holiday. Hold on. Oh, Christmas tree. It's Christmas, right? That's what I'm hoping for. Well, the music. I could see why this person is saying copyrighted music. I mean, it's pretty low, low bass, but, uh, I might have to mute it just in case. Because, you know, YouTube is, for some reason, hella strict about everything they do. They're really strict on what they do. As in, I can probably lower down a gameplay as much as I can, and I, I'd still get copyright. But that could possibly mean that the company owns the game, and... They don't want people playing their games, such as Nintendo. Would be playing Nintendo games, but I cannot. Jane, I can't just make me feel sick again. Wait, I can't just make me feel sick again, you know? What does that mean? I had a blood pressure. It, if this happens again, I could die. Die. Okay, you don't need to repeat it. I mean, I could live, live... And this looks like a familiar, familiar door, block, hidden room. Do I need, like, some sort of... Oh! Wait a minute. What the fuck? This is weird. It's like as I grab a note, something weird happens. This is the last note. Continue searching key. I killed him. I can't take... I knew I killed him. Okay. So it's a death note. Power's busted. Can't call the mender in the middle of the night. I think I should wait until tomorrow. Alright, continue searching. I guess I'm looking for a key now. Likely something bad's gonna happen since that was the last note. Last note always shows something. I mean, look at Slender the Eight Pages. Once you grab the eighth page, Slender Man automatically kills you. Anything? I haven't gone this far in the game, so... I'm feeling a little bit paranoid here. I feel like something's actually gonna kill me in this game. I cannot believe I did not see this when I grabbed one of the notes. Let's get it, and now let's go back upstairs. <gasps> But like I said, did kill the kid. I have been trying to search for that key for about 20 minutes now. Oh my god. Now this will open, right? Alright. Hmm, this door is blocked by wood. I should find you tools don't say that can break it. Probably in the basement. Hmm, wait a minute. Why am I here? Isn't, like, this game filled with women? Like, all the notes are just, like, based off of, like, letters from women. And this is a guy. Huh. So is this just, like, a random dude that just, like, went inside the house? Alright, let's go! Hopefully no bad cheap jump scares come up. Na -na 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 -na. 
Alright, brace yourselves, cat army. This is gonna be... Um... Oh, okay, here we go. Mommy, please let me out. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that was an abnormally big skull for the kid. He had a really big head. <laughs> Just like me, though. Uh, created by Hafizul. Ideas by Li Zing Kong. Music from New Grounds. Well, I could see... Pretty sad game, but pretty odd ending with that huge skull. Um, huh. Didn't know you can make games with After Effects. Yeah, that was Scribble. I mean, besides the key stressing me out, I thought it was a good game. Good storyline. Sad storyline. And yeah, I liked it. it. Wasn't scary, it wasn't no cheap jump scares or anything, it just focused on the storyline. Which is... Which is what I like. It's like finger bones. It needs to stick more like that, except with this, this actually had like a visual look of the character. Which seems to be a kid that I saw off of Calm Time, except white. Or was it Calm Time? It was either Calm Time or White Face. I'm not completely sure, but. Yeah, it's like a pixelated horror game, but not pixelated. So I hope you guys enjoyed Scribble, and subscribe in the outro if you have not. And as always, stay awesome kittens, stay awesome cats, stay awesome creepy cat army. I will see you then. You look lost. Ew, I have a boyfriend? Let's go to the movie. Okay, let's go. I like those type of games too.